suggest that the parents be allowed to actually vet things in the community? Instead of, instead of bureaucrats that don't give a rat's ass about our children, how about we allow that? And that was the million dollar a year chief executive of Prager U, which is not a university, lecturing reporters last week. Marissa Streit said there was no need for school superintendent Tom Horn or anyone else to review the Prager U educational materials that Horn agreed to promote free on the state education department website. We're back with Republican activist Tyler Montague and Democratic strategist Tony Connie. This is a new one in school choice, relatively new uh, for Arizona. The right wing Prager organization, which brings in 62 million a year, uh, set, roughly says it presents truthful history in these educational videos for kids, part of Prager U Kids, offering them free to Arizona parents, teachers who might want to use them. Historians say much of it, they say it's truthful history. In historians say some of it is just object, objectively flat out wrong. But parents can decide. Is this the way to develop well-educated Arizonans? Is this what school choice is really about? Uh, yeah, this might be what school choice is really about, uh, but I don't think this is a way to develop smart, you know, Arizonans that, that are prepared for career or college. I, it, like, it is, you know, there, there is this push that's happening on the right to basically make it so that schools aren't teaching history. And I think part of it's because historically over the past two terms, the difference between the voting behaviors of young people and people their parents age has been bigger than it's been in American history. Bigger ever, especially in Arizona, where only 20% of young people voted for Blake Masters in that Senate race, which is a huge, huge gap. And I just think that there are people who are trying to figure out, boy, my kids have a different view of the world than me, and it must be because of what they're learning in school. And that's just not what is happening. It's because many of the people who feel this way have these antiquated views about race and antiquated views about opportunity. And, you know, and I think that they're fighting to try and change this. The other thing to say about this is that like, this is another indication that Horn, as superintendent of public education, is sort of outsourcing the responsibilities of his office to these far-right organizations. And it is terrible for our future in the state. And according to the historians, PragerU videos have a particular problem when it comes to presenting the history of slavery and the Civil War accurately. Does that speak to Tony's point of just a different way of looking at the world? Well, I, you know, I, I think it's a response to some legitimate concerns about left-wing propaganda uh, being presented, but I don't know that the right answer is to counterbalance it with right-wing propaganda. I, you know, some of the Prager Youth stuff is well-produced editorial content. That's what it is. It's not scholarship uh, necessarily. So I don't... You know, how about we just don't have any propaganda in the schools and, uh, <laughs> or, or present it as such. Here's what the, a right-wing view would be. Here's a left wing. You know, okay, kids, write an opinion piece on it. You know, there's, there's context in which it would be okay. I don't think it should be presented as scholarship. A former Democratic school superintendent Kathy Hoppin was criticized for promoting uh, diversity and inclusion initiatives, social-emotional learning. She had some of that on her website on the state uh, department of education website when she was superintendent horn took it down uh, almost immediately canceled all those programs did she go too far with that no i, I don't think she went too far for that and if, and if you listen to the criticisms that the thought leaders of the republican party today like charlie kirk which is a crazy thing to say are saying about these types of initiatives you know he's on his podcast saying you know if i get on an airplane and i see that the pilot is black I, I'm, I'm nervous that that person doesn't want to fly the airplane. Like, the reality of the situation is being revealed by what they're saying on these TV shows. It is racist. That's it. Like, there's no way to, de to debate it. And, well, yeah. Larger question. I, th I think we agree this is politicized, and it's tough not to politicize it. I don't know if Tom Horn is politicizing it more than others. I'm sure there'd be a debate about that. But is it time to appoint a school superintendent, is that a solution, or are we just stuck in the moment we're in? I think we should appoint school superintendent, sheriffs, uh, and several other positions. Mine inspector. The mine inspector. Mine, definitely, no, 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 no. definitely. The, the voters need a say on the mine Oh, inspector. sorry, I apologize, I apologize. <laughs> but there's, yeah, there's some positions that are unnecessarily political, and they should be data-driven and results-driven, and the politics kind of get in the way. And it's both sides. Uh, this is an example from, from my side. 
Appointed school super? Uh, I, I mean, I like voters having a choice, but looking at some of the, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm undecided on it. I would like Tom Horn not to be okay, the superintendent. <laughs> yeah, we understand that. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, Tony Connie, Tyler Montag, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. That's our show for this week. Thanks very much to all of our guests. Thank you so much for joining us. See you back here next weekend for 